Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's M Stocks Tutor once again. I want to apologize to you guys for not dropping video like I promised. I've been offline for a while now due to personal issues and I wouldn't want to talk about them over the screen here. And uh, I'm so sorry guys, I'm back right away and um, in this video today, I want to show you how to do a perfect 301 redirect. If you're an SEO expert or someone learning how to do XEO, this video is best recommended for you. If you're hearing the word 301 for the first time, this is another opportunity for you to queue in and learn how to do a perfect 301 redirect to skyrocket your website ranking. All right, guys, so I'm going to make use of this illustration board here. I'm going to show you how to do a perfect 301 redirect. Before I come up with this video, I've tried other methods on how to do redirects. I got some bad results and also get uh, good results. So I'm going to show you how I did my 301 redirect and uh, I was able to achieve success. That is ranking my website number one Google first page. And um, there's some word I want to make use of today in this video. I want to make uh, use of the word. I know most people might have heard it somewhere. So this word is, uh, is a buffer site so i just want to make use of this word here sorry for writing this way this is not really my pattern so i just want, i'm trying to make use of this it's called a buffer site <coughs> sorry guys so this is it here i want to make use of this word or you can call it um your tier site all right so what i actually mean by this buffer site since we are having a uh, we are having a whiteboard here with us. I'm going to draw it to illustrate so that you can get clearer understanding of what I meant by the word before site. Oh, let me clean this off. I'm so sorry. I've not used this tool before, but I'm just trying to make use of it for the first time. I think this is eraser. Oh, uh, let me make use of this. Okay, let me clean this word here. So, like I told you, I will illustrate or use the uh diagram format to teach you guys what i actually mean by the word buffer site let me do this sharply i'm so sorry for delaying your time and i believe uh, this video is going to watch your time all right so what i mean by the word buffer site they what we call money site when it comes to xu i believe you guys have heard the word money site this is actually your main site you want to rank for it's called money site okay let me get this okay oh uh, this is pen this is your money size. I'm going to use the letter M to signify the money size. What I mean by the word money size? Remember, I told I want to show you what buffer size is all about or detail site is all about. M stands for the word money size. This is your main website. For example, mstacks.com is my main website. For example, and uh, this is mstacks.com, which is my money site. This is the site that earns me money. That is why it's called money site. The site that it earns a living from. This is my money site. The buffer side is a link coming from your social media platform. This is actually called the social signal or social link. Another buffer side here is sorry, is your web 2.0 or web 2.0 2.0 and another signal coming here as a buffer side is your high PA website. This is your high PA sorry pr website that is your page rank website all right this is what i mean by the word buffer site this is the link you actually get or let me say your tier one link pointing to your money site that is what i mean by the word buffer site why i mentioned this word i actually want to use them to show you guys how to do a perfect 301 reader i believe you've known what the word buffer site signifies or what it means or tier side this is actually the tier one backlink pointing to my money site so this is a site this is a site actually this is a site and this is a site so let me show you guys how to do a perfect 301 redirect let me use the control z option to make it more fast and brief so this is how to do a perfect 301 redirect now i have my money site here this is my money site i want to do a 301 redirect this is my money site. The 
OWAM data is like you getting expired domain with high authority, high page rank, high domain rating, and pointing back to your money site to manipulate ranking. In other words, how to do a perfect theory O1 redirect like we normally do when you get your expired domain this is your expired domain you get your expired domain you get your expired domain what average individual will do they will point this 301 redirect this is a 301 backlink yeah a 301 backlink this is the expired domain you can actually call it a 301 backlink because what we're going to do here is called a 301 redirect that is a permanent redirect telling google that this website is no longer existing but existing towards this all right this is how you do a perfect 301 redirect like we have the diagram here this is our money site for you to do a 301 redirect, like average individual will do they will point the expired domain to their money site for example i want to do 301 redirects but i, I got it uh, i got three expired domain this method is what everyone makes use of and i want to say um from my experiments i discovered that this no longer works in most time it do work but from my new experience i discovered that this don't give me what i actually wanted all right so this is your expired domain this is your 301 redirect this is your 301 so this method is actually the old method of doing 301 redirect you might do this and it will work well for you so how to do a perfect 301 redirect now watch let's assume you've gotten your expired domain and you are ready for 301 redirect this is your money site now this is your buffer site coming to your website remember i told you earlier in this video what buffer site is all about so this is your buffer site this is it over here instead of you pointing your 301 redirect straight to your money site this is your money site instead of you pointing your 301 redirect your expired domain straight to your money site and when you do it straight to your money site you might end up hurting your money site if this expired domain has google penalty so you must be very very careful not to point expired domain straight up to your money site that is why we have the social signal here we have the web 2.0 we have the PR website that is your page rank website a high authority page rank website so instead of you pointing your expired domain straight up to your money site when this has a manual action it's going to affect your money site thereby decreasing your website ranking so the best way to do a 301 redirect is to use this method I want to show you right away now this is my expired domain I got this expired domain and uh, it has let's say 20DA is indexed via Google and uh, way back is very plain and I want to do a 301 redirect instead of me pointing this to my money side what I'll do I'll point this straight up to my this is my 301 redirect this is expired domain so I'm going to point my expired domain straight up to my tier link or my buffer site I'm going to get another expired domain and point it to this if I want or if you don't want to point to expired domain you can actually point from one to five to each of these if you want but most time i do recommend you do like two or three is enough let's say you can put extra one here your expired domain so this expired three expired domain here is pushing or passing authority or link juice to your social signal sites which in returns gets or pass link juice to your money site so if there's any manual action affecting this 301 redirect here instead of hurting your website here it's gonna hurt this and believe me this website is strong enough to resist any harm coming from this 301 redirect all right so this is your 301 redirect so this is your 301 you get another one you do the same thing here you point it to your web 2.0 that is your strong authority web 2.0 you point your redirects over it you point your redirect and you point your redirect now you do the same thing here you can actually point like i told you earlier one to five is okay you can point one to twenty any amount you want so far is not going straight up to your money site so this is the best way to do a perfect 301 redirect if there's any penalty coming from this here instead of hurting your main money site it's going to hurt this and 
like i said this side here are actually very strong to protect your website from harm so most time people think like oh uh, when i point this when i point my spare domain or my 301 related to my main money sites it's going to work faster or it's going to pass more authority no doesn't work that way because i actually did this before i came up with this idea here i actually did this on my money site and i discovered that two of these is actually good it's perfect enough to pass page authority and page rank and this one here has a manual action most time you might be in a hurry to do your 301 redirect without checking your domain if they are if the expired domain you got are actually good for redirect you just go straight and redirect them to your money site i lost my money site due to a bad 301 redirect by getting a spare domain and pointing them straight up to my money site so what i do is i use this method here using my social signal site my web 2.0 and my high page r website to get a perfect 301 redirect so guys if you want to do a redirect this is the best way to do it don't point it straight up to your money site because it's going to harm your website unless before you do this part is pointed up to your money site street you must use another method which is before you point this here now i'm done with this method this is the perfect way to do a 301 redirect this is the perfect way now for you to make use of this method here to point a 301 redirect straight up to your money site this is what you need to consider first these are points you need to consider before pointing this to your money site so let me clean this off and come up with a point to consider before pointing expired domain for 301 redirect to your money site so before you point any expired domain to your money site this is your spare domain before you point them to your money site first you check this is a spare domain you check the history of this expired domain if it's actually good via you can use the or uh, way back machine to to check the history if it's indexed by google or not if it has any manual action you should be able to identify all this another thing you should do for example i i have mstacks.com you can use this format here to check if your expired domain is in this google history so this let's try this out so as you can see here my mstacks.com is in there so let's assume this is expired domain i want to use for 301 redirect if you get expired domain and you do this site and your website name.com if you are able to get any history pointing back to your expired domain it actually means that this expired domain is either it has a manual penalty or the domain is not indexed by google don't panic when you see something like this maybe you try or uh, uh, inserting your expired domain and you discover that non nothing here is in there so what you're gonna do you use this expired domain you've got you use it to start a blog use it to set up a new blog via blogger or blogspot website or you if you run on a wordpress you can install new wordpress with the, with the expired domain use it to blog for like two or three months two to three months use it to blog and see the performance of the website if it performs best then it's good to go with 301 redirect so first you do here you point it to your money site remember after blogging with it and you discover that the domain has no manner option is indexable by google and is ranking already so you point it straight up to your money site this is part domain you do the same thing here you point it over you point it up to your money site you do the same thing here you point it to your money site do not do the mistake i did when i was doing my 301 redirect. i actually got these two right i was so patient enough to wait and see that these two performs best and i pointed to my money sites i did the same thing and i pointed to my money site but this i was too to do all this here and i ended up hurting my money site so guys this is how to do a perfect 301 redirect. if you follow this step i assure you you're gonna rank your website to number one google first page and please if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed do not forget to use the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and also turn up the notification bell to get updated whenever i drop a video that has to do with xeo 301 direct affiliate marketing how to and viva tips and guide all right thank you for watching my video thank you guys see you next